Yeah. 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 It's hard to explain my team sometimes, and uh, this was one of them. I, I did not think we played very good the first half. I thought we were so fortunate to be down four. Um, I thought, you know, Iowa missed some shots early that they normally make. They've been shooting the ball so well. I've been really impressed with Franny's team, winning 10 out of 11 and deserving it. And uh, at halftime, you know, we just, I felt like McQuaid wasn't looking for a shot. And so he caught something on that because he's my shooter and he's not looking for a shot. Nick was letting the ball go inside so easy. He wasn't running and getting deep post position himself. So we were struggling there. We struggled a little bit because my wings, uh, you know, those freshmen, uh, this was a hell of an atmosphere tonight, a hell of a place. And um, I think the freshmen had got a little to him. And then Kyle went in and he wasn't feeling great. And then we got in foul trouble. So all those things happened the first half, and we just said at halftime, we got to play better. We got to run and get the ball inside. Um, we got to guard better. And uh, so I'd say we did all those things a lot better. Um, what we didn't do better was take care of the ball, turnovers. Uh, although Cassius is, he had them all early. Uh, he ended up with three at three in the first couple minutes. But I think for us, the two things that we needed to do was defend without fouling. They only got eight free throws. Uh, they were averaging 30 when we played them the first time, 23 or four this time. And Nick Ward, who's come so far with his free throw shooting for us to be 20 at 21, I think those two things, along with some pretty good defense. But I was a good team. I don't, I don't know. You know, a couple years ago they had our number. I guess this year we had their number. But uh, I, I think that is on, on film, watching them. Very, very good team that uh, maybe struggled a little bit tonight shooting the ball, and they've been shooting it so well. I was three perimeter players, starters, really struggled to shoot. How, how much of that was your defense? You know, I, I think some of it. I mean, we are pretty good defensively, but I, I just did. I, I thought they missed some shots. You know, Bohannon missed that one late in the corner. There was nobody near him. I mean, I bet you he'll make nine out of ten of those. So I think a little bit of it was us. But, but, I thought Moss had a couple, uh, you know, Bohannon, maybe a couple long ones. And uh, for some reason, West Camp, you know, has not played as well against us. I mean, I just love that kid and love what he brings, but he's not played as well against us so far. Tom, I know there's things you look at that you didn't like the way it went, but when you're down eight and you see them respond, is it, do you just continue to learn about the character of this group that even when you're maybe not playing well, they still Yeah, that's well way? said. You know, at halftime, I mean, Aaron Henry was – not very good, and uh, you know, at halftime it was his turn to hear about it, and that was something new for him, you know, <laughs> and uh, struggled with it. Josh Langford did the most unbelievable job with those young kids at halftime. Um, he was worth everything take coming on this trip, and second half he played a lot better, and you know, McQuaid looked for a shot a lot more, and yeah, I was, I was impressed by how we responded after halftime and then being down a little bit in the second half and we still bounce back. That run that you guys made, it was 24-2 and 14 straight, you guys were able to get out in front. What were they doing early to, to maybe bottle that up a little bit and what did you guys maybe change up a little bit to get that front game going? You know, they were killing us on the offensive glass early. I think their first six points, they got them all off the offensive glass and we said we got to rebound better. So, uh, you know, you can't run if you don't have the ball. and. Uh, our, our motto is you got to defend it, you got to cut out, you got to rebound, and you got to run. But it's got to be in that order. Uh, we were defending, running, uh, whatever, and then thinking about rebounding, and it wasn't working too good. So, you know, we changed a little bit of that in the timeouts. And uh, I think you're right, though. What I've been most impressed with in my team is I think there's getting to be trust player coach. They're responding to things. They, they don't take things personal. Um, and I, 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 I was pleased by how we, we finished that game. You talk about the maturation of your team. Thomas Kith, you're picking up more minutes, earning trust. Would you talk about his development, please? You know, I mean, it wasn't in the game plan, if you want the truth. Um, we were in so much foul trouble with Nick right away. And then, and then uh, you know, we, we've got to get more out of, uh, out of uh, X, out of Xavier. 
you know, he made a couple big plays down the stretch, but he's on the bench half the first half. You know, we when we did, we just were stuck. We put him in, just like we we're stuck against Maryland, put him in to their credit. And I think that has helped that those guys are on the scout team. They know the other team's offense, but they're going against Nick and X and Kenny every day. And I, I think both him and, believe it or not, uh, Marcus Bingham, is, they've gotten better because of what they've done in practice. I mean, you've had a couple of second half responses on the road, kind of like this, going for the wings. Is that just having a veteran team? Is there something about the makeup of this team? I think a little bit of both, but I, I think that is having a veteran team. You know, I, like I said, I told them this place would be rocking, and, and, and it was. And, uh, uh, you know, for young guys to handle that, I mean, uh, some of our young guys didn't handle it very well. But like McQuaid, as bad as I thought he played the first half, not looking for his shot, Irons was getting back cut. You know, they buttoned it down a little bit the second half, and when they did that, boy, there was then we then we could get out and run because we were getting clean rebounds. With, with Nick and, and Cash, I mean, they were throwing doubles and triple teams at them. Uh, you know, when Cash would drive, or when Nick would get ball in the post. How much did they had to do to respond to that? And how much did the other guys, when, when you're seeing that much sagging on them, how much did those guys need to know what their roles are there? Well, they need to know, and, and you know that's where we're missing Josh. And in and, and all honesty, Kyle Arns, I mean, he's, I don't know if he'll even play now this week, but he's uh, hes not what he was. I mean, he was really shooting the ball well. And if teams are going to double you in there uh, like they're doing, um, I, I'm more pleased with Nick than the other guys because after a little bit of a slow start, he started making some good passes out of there. He didn't get frustrated. Nick's got to get back to running that lane, so there'll be some work tomorrow in practice. He's got to get down there because we got to get him the ball early before they can double, and we can do that if he get back to running. Arnie, I know he went down hard. Anything, Tom? I have no idea. You know, they just told me he couldn't play anymore this game, but uh, he gave me everything he can give me. You know, it's hard because he got back cut a couple times. I just don't think, you know, it's it's stiff. It's not where it needs to be, and consequently, um, it's un Arnie like, you know, usually nobody back cuts him and stuff. So I, I don't know, you know, we're we're just gonna have to keep on plugging away and mixing matching some people and it's uh frustrating and fun at the same time if that makes any sense. Tyler, Tyler Cook had I think eleven points in that first four minute block out of halftime and was really kind of taking it to, to Kenny. I mean, what did you do differently from that point on? Because that seemed to be yeah. Uh, when the game changed. But we did something that you got to do in basketball. We tried to guard them, you know? I mean, it was a joke. I mean, my God, I could have scored in there. And if you laugh, I w I'm serious. So I really could have. I mean, those were layups. And I mean, I, I like Tyler Cook, but I mean, we let him post too deep. We didn't find, we put no pressure on the pass. We weren't digging when they dribbled. I mean, all the things that, and, and I want to take blame for, you know, they went in there even more than I thought. And they just buried us in there, and consequently, I don't think my prep was as good on that area. So before I blame a player for you know, just letting them get that position, uh, I have to take some blame for the job I did, and tomorrow and the next day we'll, we'll be working harder on that. But we, we tried to dig a little bit more, and I'm surrounded a little bit more, make it a little harder to get it in, put a little more pressure on the ball so when he was open. I tried a lot of things. I thought Fran did a great job of um, – going right in at us and uh, you know we made some adjustments and they missed a couple of shots in there we made a couple threes and that was I think the difference in our comeback. Uh, Cash has kind of got on fire in the second half during that run. How big is it to have somebody like that especially with the three-pointers that you talked about that uh, hit during that stretch? Well you know Cash is, makes it easy to coach because um, you know the first half I don't know how many shots he took the first half um, didn't seem like that many, and it doesn't bother him, you know. He's not one of those guys that gets all upset if he doesn't get a lot of shots. And we tried to do some things. I thought they did a hell of a job on him. I mean, if I looked at Iowa, I thought their defense was a lot better, uh, you know, than early. Um, you know, it, maybe in that stretch it didn't turn out that way. But uh, for most of the game, we had to work for everything we got. In the first half, we weren't getting a lot. But the second half, we decided the ball screen for cash more, bring him off screens more. We tried to move him around a little bit more and uh, had a little bit of success doing that. Tom, a couple possessions. As you were coming back there, Aaron Henry had one drive late in the shot clock where he shows his ability to create his own shot, another in transition. Do you see steps from him each game where 
he's going to be more and more consequential to you guys as the season goes along? Yep. Ask him about halftime, and there were steps the other way, too. He was backtracking it. So, I mean, he did do some good things, but, I mean, he did some, you know, some things he's, he's got to get better at that are – what he struggles with is the intensity of a Big Ten game, you know, and, and, and freshmen should struggle with that. But that light bulb's got to go on a little quicker because there were some things in that first half that that's how they got the lead. Again, to his credit, um, I think what a coach always looks for is do they respond? Uh, you know, you said it, uh, that, that's the greatest gift you can have. You know, can they take somebody getting on them, not take it personal and respond? And I thought my staff did a good job. Dane called a couple of those plays where we got it inside to him. DJ made some adjustments on the uh, post defense. I just sat there and took the day off, I guess. Some yes. thought I took a lot of it off the first half. Do you have any update on Josh? I know that you mentioned he did a lot in the locker room, but is yeah. he getting closer? Nah, well, closer, I think closer. But uh, uh, I'll tell you this, he, he shot the other day. And one day when you guys were in there, he shot. Um, the question is, him shooting excites me. Uh, that's not a good sign. I mean, that means he's got a ways to go yet because he just shooting is a good step. But I do feel he's getting a little better. He played a little one-on-one -on -one the other day, but it's not going to be in the near, near future, and I hope it's not in the far, far future. I'm, I'm almost more worried about Kyle right now because I thought we would get him back, and I don't know, you know, he slipped, and I don't know if he hurt his leg or if it was his back or... But uh, he too played better the second half. I think. I think probably I can't sit him on a bench that long in the first half, then put him in. It's too stiff for that. Anything else?